high five. Yeah. <laughs> Ran from here to the neck and helped the animal to raise it. Trophy, that sort of similar to what the elephant bird would possibly look like. But... In a world where the echoes of extinct species still whisper through time, a group of extraordinary individuals is rewriting the narrative of extinction. They're not wielding time machines, but rather the potent tools of science to rekindle the flames of life for creatures long thought lost. Join us on a remarkable expedition as we unveil 20 awe-inspiring species, each with a chance to defy oblivion and dance once more upon the stage of existence. Number 20. Barbary Lion. In the ancient lands of Morocco and Egypt, there existed a regal ruler of the wilderness, the magnificent Barbary Lion, also known as the Atlas or Nubian Lion. It was a creature of unparalleled grandeur, often regarded as the largest and most majestic of all lions, symbolizing both power and grace. The Barbary Lion saga carries echoes of a bygone era when it might have roamed the arenas of Roman gladiators. Yet what truly set it apart was its distinctive choice of solitude over the companionship of prides, a decision driven by the harsh environment and limited food sources it encountered. Regrettably, the Barbary Lion story concludes in tragic notes. The year 1922 witnessed the haunting echo of gunshots resonating through the rugged Atlas Mountains, marking the final chapter and extinguishing its once mighty roar. The allure of this lion extended far beyond the confines of its native lands, gracing the courts of royalty and captivating admirers throughout Europe. From the historic Tower of London to enchanting European parks, its presence left an indelible mark on the hearts of those fortunate enough to encounter it. Yet as we delve deeper into the tapestry of history, a darker thread reveals itself, an unsettling tale of exploitation and decline. Arab territories constrained its domains, Romans manipulated its existence for their spectacles, and Europeans pushed it perilously close to the precipice of extinction. But amid these shadows of despair, glimmers of hope endure. Did the noble lineage of the Barbary lion persevere within the confines of captivity? If so, the solemn duty to safeguard this legacy now rests squarely upon the shoulders of dedicated conservationists, entrusted with preserving the memory of a lion that once reigned supreme, a testament to the enduring grandeur of the untamed wilderness. Number 19. Woolly Mammoth. Imagine, if you will, creatures from the past, colossal in stature akin to the magnificent African elephants we know today. These prehistoric titans could reach towering heights of up to 11.2 feet, and their sheer mass could tip the scales at a staggering 6.6 .6 tons. Nature, in her wisdom, wove a tapestry of adaptations that allowed these giants to thrive in the unforgiving cold of their ancient realms, their long guard hairs and insulating undercoat were like a cozy winter coat, protecting them from the biting chill, while their truncated ears and tails acted as nature's frostbite shields, warding off heat loss. In the midst of what some might describe as scientific wizardry, a daring aspiration emerged in the year 2017, an audacious project aimed at reversing the tragic fate of the mammoth. Geneticist George Church boldly proclaimed that these magnificent creatures would return from the abyss within a mere two years. However, as the relentless march of time reminds us, over four years have since passed, and the triumphant revival of the mammoth remains an elusive dream. Amidst a chorus of skepticism, paleontologist John Hawkes has cast doubt upon earlier claims, dismissing them as mere mirages of hope illusory echoes of resurrection. Contemplate for a moment the monumental obstacles that lie before us, the complex orchestration required to transform a single mammoth cell into a burgeoning embryo, a feat akin to alchemy in its intricacy. Yet, this is but the opening act. The true challenge lies in nurturing this embryonic spark into a fully realized mammoth, a task that at this juncture stretches the boundaries of our biological mastery, Number 18. Saber-toothed Tiger. Ah, the saber-toothed tigers, those mesmerizing creatures that often find their way into our school textbooks. Their allure is undeniable. Yet despite their commonly used nickname, the saber-toothed cat, these enigmatic beings weren't as closely related to cats or tigers as one might assume. 
They prowled our world around 10,000 years ago, leaving behind a legacy defined by their distinctive knife-like teeth, which have been unearthed in Brazilian fossils. The idea of resurrecting these captivating creatures might spark our curiosity, but it's a complex endeavor. It's not just because we find ourselves grappling with the ongoing pandemic, which has already taken on the role of unsettling us when we step outside. The real challenge lies in the intricate web of ecological factors. Bringing a species back from extinction demands more than just technical prowess. It necessitates a profound understanding of their natural habitat, their reproduction patterns, and the historical factors that led to their decline, sometimes driven by non-natural causes. Number 17, Elephant Bird. As custodians of our planet's history, we must confront the somber chapters that recount the regrettable missteps leading to the extinction of various species. Among these solemn tales, the majestic elephant bird stands out, a colossal wonder that once graced the landscapes of Madagascar. This avian giant was a symbol of abundance, with eggs large enough to cradle entire families and shells repurposed as practical bowls. Its succulent meat was in high demand, echoing through the annals of time. However, amidst the echoes of a bygone era, a glimmer of hope persists, a fervent aspiration to resurrect this avian titan. The elephant bird, a giant among its feathered kin, roamed Madagascar's realm until the 17th century when human activity sealed its fate. Genetically closer to the ostrich and spiritually tied to the kiwi, this lineage finds its roots in the quiet corners of New Zealand. Now imagine a world where the elephant bird reclaims its perch, a colossal presence, weighing in at a staggering 1,600 pounds, standing nearly 10 feet tall. In this fantastical tableau, new possibilities arise. Companionship takes flight, farms resonate with their grand strides, and a realm of transportation unfurls. It's a vision where these magnificent creatures become integral threads in the intricate tapestry of existence. Number 16. Quagga. In the intricate realm of species revival, scientists often explore the genetic connections between extinct and living creatures. When a contemporary species shares a significant portion of its DNA with an extinct relative, it opens the door to genetic experiments that could potentially bring back long-lost animals. Such a remarkable possibility is now on the horizon for the quagga. Indigenous to South Africa, this unique subspecies of the plains zebra, originally thought to be a separate species, harbored an intriguing genetic secret. The quagga, tragically pushed to extinction by European settler colonists in the late 19th century, bore a striking resemblance to its plains zebra cousins. Measuring approximately 8.5 feet in length and standing at 4.5 feet, its most distinctive feature was its distinctive brown and white striping pattern. These stripes adorned its front, while its rear displayed a more horse-like appearance in solid brown. Interestingly, not all quaggas shared the same stripe arrangement, adding a touch of individuality. Genetic revelations unveiled that the quagga was, in fact, a subspecies of the plains zebra. Could this discovery serve as a signpost toward their eventual return? With the potential for scientific intervention, the once abundant quaggas of the Cape Province may one day roam their native lands once more. Number 15. Woolly Rhinoceros Among the fascinating creatures that have long captured the imagination of scientists, the woolly rhinoceros stands as a true enigma. Roaming the frigid expanses of northern Asia and Europe during the Pleistocene epoch, these colossal beasts were a marvel of adaptation. Wrapped in shaggy coats, they braved the harshest of cold climates, sporting distinctive humps and an herbivore's appetite. As the eons passed, these magnificent creatures left their indelible mark on the ancient landscape. But it's not just their physical legacy that endures. Thanks to the icy embrace of permafrost, their remains have been meticulously preserved over millennia. The frozen tundra has gradually unveiled the mummified secrets of the woolly mammoths and a treasure trove of bones. Then, in a stroke of serendipity, 2014 delivered a stunning gift to the world of paleontology. A perfectly preserved young rhino mummy emerged from the depths of Yakutia, Russia. Its soft tissues, head, majestic horns, and fur frozen in time left scientists awestruck. Yet the story took another poignant turn in 2020 when, not far from the first discovery, 
another rhino emerged from the permafrost, aged around three to four years. It bore the traces of a tragic drowning fate, providing a glimpse into the harsh realities of prehistoric life. Number 14. Tasmanian Tiger As a species, our insatiable curiosity has often been a double-edged sword, guiding us towards both extraordinary achievements and uncharted territories. One such endeavor that captures our collective imagination is the potential resurrection of the Tasmanian Tiger, or Thylacine, a creature that vanished in 1936 after an awe-inspiring existence spanning four million years. Its decline was a tragic consequence of diseases and the relentless encroachment of human settlements into its territory. Today, we find ourselves standing at the threshold of possibility. In a remarkable feat, scientists have unveiled the complete nuclear genome of a thylacine, preserved within a specimen dating all the way back to 1909. This breakthrough reignites the flames of hope for the thylacine's revival, but let us not be hasty. The path ahead is long and arduous. The genome serves as our initial stride, a beacon lighting the way toward a future where the thylacine might once again roam the earth. Yet the creation of a suitable host, the intricate dance of genetics and science, remains a monumental task that will demand our patience, dedication, and unwavering commitment to this audacious quest. Number 13. Gastric Brooding Frog the saga of the gastric brooding frog embarked on a rocky journey, but humanity is now steadfastly working to rewrite its narrative. Introduced to the world stage only in 1972, this remarkable Australian amphibian met a tragic fate by the 1980s, succumbing to a devastating fungal disease, suspected to be an unwelcome gift from modern humans. The looming presence of this fungus casts a shadow of uncertainty over the frog's chances of revival in its natural habitat. However, the scientific community remains resolute in its mission. Leading the charge is Professor Michael Archer, a visionary scientist from the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. Armed with frozen cells harvested from frogs conserved three decades ago, Professor Archer and his team embarked on a groundbreaking journey by successfully cloning the initial embryos, an indispensable milestone preceding the formation of tadpoles. This audacious endeavor holds the potential to breathe new life into the enigmatic gastric brooding frogs. What sets these frogs apart is their extraordinary reproductive technique, which manifests in two captivating species, the northern and the southern. Their distinctive breeding ritual unfolds with a mesmerizing twist. After the male's fertilization, the female does the unexpected. She swallows the eggs. In a breathtaking biological transformation, her stomach evolves from an acidic chamber into a nurturing sanctuary where the developing offspring find their refuge. Number 12. Seychelles Giant Tortoise In the illustrious gallery of remarkable creatures, one enigmatic resident stands at the crossroads of existence, the Seychelles Giant Tortoise. Its status sparks heated debates within scientific circles, oscillating between whispers of its lingering presence in the wild and mournful declarations of its absolute extinction. The pages of the 19th century unveil a somber tale. A relentless wave of hunting pushed this magnificent giant to the brink of vanishing forever. Much like its contemporary cousins, the Seychelles' giant tortoise once roamed the fringes of lush streams and marshes, contentedly grazing on the verdant banquet. However, this proximity to human paths proved to be its curse, catching the eye of passers-by and opportunistic hunters. Intriguingly, a ray of hope pierced the darkness in 2011. A groundbreaking study heralded the discovery of 28 adult tortoises and 40 juveniles rekindling their ancient presence in the wild. These tenacious survivors found refuge on Cousin Island, where they whispered tales of resilience and wrote a new chapter in their enduring saga. A profound connection with the Seychelles giant tortoise was forged as they trod upon their ancestral soil. Meanwhile, on St. Helena Island, another venerable inhabitant, Jonathan, etched his name in the annals of history. Recently crowned the world's oldest living mammal by the Guinness World Records, at the remarkable age of 187, he stands as an enduring testament to the boundless endurance and mystique of the animal kingdom. Number 11. Giant Ground Sloth 
When it comes to animals that can ignite enthusiasm in the realm of revival, there's no doubt that the giant ground sloth takes the spotlight. The sloths we're familiar with today are charming, slow-moving creatures that don't exactly invoke fear. Now, try to imagine them on an epic scale, massive in size. These ancient giants, measuring approximately 20 feet in length, could stand upright and reach the tops of palm trees, a testament to their colossal proportions. Weighing around three tons, their footprints left a three-foot-long story in the earth, a tale from a bygone era, some one and a half million years ago. The boldness of curiosity entices scientists to delve deep into the fabric of time, contemplating the possibility of bringing these titans back to life. But curiosity isn't a mere whisper. It's a driving force, navigating the intricate maze of DNA. The paths to revival diverge into three fascinating avenues, cloning, backbreeding, and genetic engineering. Cloning involves creating life from the core of the extinct, birthing an embryo within a living egg cell. Backbreeding calls upon ancestral traits through the lineage of living creatures. And genetic engineering harnesses the blueprint of their DNA, weaving echoes of the past into living cells. Yet as science approaches the edge of possibility, a sobering reality emerges. Genetic engineering stands out as the most promising method, a shining beacon of potential. However, its success hangs in the balance, with a modest success rate of just 5%. Amidst these endeavors lies a quest to resurrect a species long concealed in the depths of time, rekindling a connection severed by epics long past. Number 10. Glyptodonts. As the passage of time veils the mystery of the Glyptodonts' vanishing act, a distant glimmer of resurrection emerges on the horizon, a possibility that may unveil their ancient presence once more. These massive creatures, fading into obscurity as the last ice age waned, have long eluded our understanding. Early on, they were likened to armadillos, a resemblance that led scientists down a winding path of exploration. A revelation, both surprising and profound, emerged from the depths of history. Glyptodonts and armadillos, once distant relatives, are now known to share a common lineage that stretches across time. This connection weaves an intricate tapestry that includes the giant armadillo, a colossal creature weighing up to 25 pounds, and the delicate pink fairy armadillo, a tiny sprite-like being weighing a mere four ounces. Yet, the pursuit of knowledge encounters an unusual silence. Fragments of DNA offer faint whispers, providing glimpses but guarding their secrets. These ancient guardians once thrived in dense woodlands and vast grasslands, flourishing in the southern regions of the United States. The story of their disappearance remains a narrative shrouded in speculation. Climatic shifts and human presence loom as potential culprits. However, the enigma persists, wrapped in uncertainty, as their closest relatives continue to roam our lands today. Number 9. Passenger Pigeon the passenger pigeon, once a pivotal species crucial for ecological diversity, tragically faced extinction due to human actions in the 1800s. It was a breathtaking spectacle, with billions of these birds filling the skies. However, this awe-inspiring sight began to disintegrate due to relentless hunting and the relentless march of deforestation. By 1900, the species had vanished with the last passenger pigeon succumbing to a hunter's shot. The atmosphere of sorrow then hung heavy over Cincinnati Zoo in 1914 as the species drew its final breath. Although museums house their preserved remains, a quest for revival echoes within the scientific community. The elusive treasure of intact cell nuclei, a genetic map, remains just beyond reach, a map that could potentially rekindle the passenger pigeon's flight Hope resides in the dedication of biologist Ben Novak and his committed team from the University of California. They've embarked on a daring mission, envisioning the transformation of the band-tailed pigeon, the passenger pigeon's closest living relative. Step by step, they aspire to compose a symphony of genetic change, breathing life into a passenger pigeon genome complete with the iconic lengthened tail and the fiery spark of a red eye. Number 8. Pyrenean Ibex while the idea of reviving mammoths and saber-toothed tigers remains distant and uncertain, the resurrection of the Pyrenean ibex could be inching closer to reality. Sadly, our hands were once again involved in their initial extinction, as their magnificent curved horns made them prime targets for hunters. 
By 1892, their population dwindled to the brink of extinction until the last Pyrenean ibex met its end, tragically crushed beneath a tree in captivity. Yet, from the depths of regret, a glimmer of hope emerged in 1989. Scientists embarked on a bold mission, gathering DNA fragments from the scant remains of the ibex and carefully preserving them in the icy vaults of freezers. By merging the genetic material of the ibex with that of a goat, they wove the threads of life into 57 surrogate hosts. Miraculously, seven pregnant surrogates carried the hope of resurrection, and in 2003, a single birth symbolized the fragile realization of that dream. Although the clone's appearance in the world was brief, it brought life for seven precious minutes before fading away, leaving a trail of unfulfilled potential. Number seven, Heath Hen. The Heath Hen, once inhabitants of the eastern U.S. coastline, have left a void in the tapestry of life, a silence echoing far and wide. As a unique subspecies of the prairie chicken, their distinctive song used to grace the shores of Martha's Vineyard, where they shared a kinship with their prairie cousins. Although smaller in size, the heath hen measured around 17 inches in length and weighed a mere two pounds, a testament to their delicate presence. In the colonial era, these hens thrived and played a vital role in the intricate web of life. However, their fortunes took a turn as their numbers dwindled due to hunting for sustenance and culinary delights. While the hunter's songs marked a haunting dirge, other factors conspired against their survival. Their tender and succulent meat made them easy targets, a vulnerability that not even the islands could shield them from. In the face of this relentless decline, islanders came together in a valiant effort to establish a sanctuary, preserving their habitat and providing protection from predators and eager hunters. Yet, fate had other plans. Wildfires raged, ruthlessly consuming their sanctuary and hastening their decline. By 1933, a shroud of silence descended, and the last whispers of the Heath Hen's presence faded into history. An ancient lineage reached its conclusion, marked by a solitary figure named Booming Ben, the poignant reminder of a once thriving legacy. Number six, Carolina Parakeet. The Carolina Parakeet, once a captivating sight across the landscapes of southern New York, Wisconsin, and the Gulf of Mexico, boasted resplendent plumage that dazzled with vibrant hues. These parrots, native to the eastern United States, found their haven in ancient forests and along riverbanks, painting these settings with their natural beauty. However, as time flowed onward, their tale took a poignant turn. A fateful date, February 21st, 1918, marked the end of their era as a male named Incas drew his final breath. Just months after a touching encounter with Lady Jane at the Cincinnati Zoological Garden, their brief union signaled the swan song of the Carolina parakeet. Since then, no eyes have feasted upon their vibrant plumage, and the last echoes of their wild existence quietly faded. The last wild Carolina parakeet vanished forever in Florida's Okeechobee County. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Hey there, feast your eyes on this mind-blowing image. We're talking chicken to Dino evolution, folks. That's right, this chicken is apparently on a mission to become the ultimate Jurassic superstar by 2050. So, here's the deal. Forget about ancient dino DNA. That ship has sailed. Instead, our fearless scientists are putting their money on the humble chicken. Yes, the one that lays your breakfast eggs. They're attempting the most epic glow-up in the history of evolution, taking the chicken and turning it into something straight out of the Cretaceous period. Dr. Jack Horner, the genius behind the movie magic of Jurassic Park, is leading the charge. But here's the kicker. They're not trying to resurrect raptors with feathers and claws. Nope, they're aiming for the chicken-saurus makeover. Think hands, arms, and of course, that elusive tail. Now let's be real, folks. As exciting as it sounds, we're not exactly sure if we want our world filled with real-life dinos just yet. Sure, it's cool, but isn't it equally cool to have a chicken that just lays eggs for breakfast? What do you think? Is the chicken-saurus the next big thing, or should we stick with the tried and true? Drop your thoughts below and let's have a dynamite debate. Number five, aurochs. The aurochs, our ancient bovine relatives, took their final bow from the world in the year 1627, 
with the last of their kind bidding farewell in Poland. Revered throughout history, the aurochs left their majestic mark on cave paintings, and legends of their unmatched strength and agility resonated through the ages. Today, creatures like the ox carry fragments of aurochs genetics, sparking a tantalizing question. Can we selectively blend these inherited traits to resurrect the authentic spirit of the aurochs? Remarkably, the quest to rekindle the aurochs' essence isn't a recent endeavor. Pioneering this journey were the Heck brothers, zookeepers, and enthusiastic experimenters. Over a span of 12 years, they orchestrated a unique cross-breeding experiment, uniting cattle and formidable fighting bulls to give birth to what became known as Heck cattle. While their primary focus was on enhancing strength and ferocity, these hybrid descendants also inherited fragments of the aurochs' legacy, allowing them to mirror some aspects of their ancestral prowess. Number 4. Irish Elk The intriguing tale of the Irish Elk reveals an exciting potential in the realm of reviving extinct species made feasible through state-of-the-art technology. Despite their somewhat deceptive name, these magnificent creatures were not originally from Ireland. Instead, they represented the largest deer species. They stood as tall as 2.1 meters, 7 feet, at the shoulders and boasted antlers that stretched up to an astonishing 12 feet. The Irish elk population thrived during the Pleistocene epoch, evolving over the glacial periods of the past one million years. Notably, their exceptionally well-preserved remains, often unearthed in Irish peat bogs, have prolonged their existence by almost 1,500 years beyond previous estimates. This fortunate preservation makes them an ideal candidate for DNA analysis and potential cloning endeavors. Number 3. Guam Flying Fox Perched within the embrace of the Pacific Ocean, the tropical paradise of Guam was once home to a small resident, the Marianas Fruit Bat, famously known as the Guam Flying Fox. However, the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, has sadly declared them extinct. An eerie silence has settled since the 1970s, marking an era devoid of their graceful presence. The footsteps of hunters still echo, signifying the tragic demise of the last of their species. Humanity, drawn by their sustenance, unwittingly brought about their extinction. In the intricate dance of human expansion, natural habitats yielded to the progress of civilization. Lush shrines of evergreen vegetation and abundant flora succumbed to bulldozers, transformed into residential spaces for other creatures. These delicate herbivores, measuring a mere 14 to 15 centimeters and weighing just 152 grams, found themselves exposed to both natural predators and the encroachment of human development. Their appearance adorned a rich tapestry of colors, ranging from deep brown to hints of yellow, draped over their furry bodies. Yet much of their mysteries remain concealed, their behaviors whispered among the tropical winds. Amidst the lush foliage, they feasted on a diverse banquet of evergreen shrubs, flowers, fruits, and tender leaves. The intricacies of their reproduction remain enigmatic, but a glimmer of understanding emerges from the pages of history. A solitary captive from 1968 hints at shared parental responsibilities between genders. Number 2. Baiji White Dolphin Also known as the Chinese River Dolphin, the Baiji, or White Dolphin, serves as a poignant reminder of the fleeting nature of existence. This elusive creature vanished from the waters of China's Yangtze River, fading into obscurity in 2006. Faint whispers of their presence tantalized scientists, but exhaustive studies yielded no traces of their existence. Measuring between 2 to 2.4 meters in length, the Baiji boasted a distinctive appearance, Elongated snouts and a coat of pale gray skin, an elegant countenance that earned them the poetic monikers Goddess of the Yangtze or Goddess of the Baiji. Their slender, agile bodies glided gracefully through the waters. They were masters of the river currents, sustaining themselves primarily on a diet of fish, relying on their acute auditory senses to navigate the murky depths when their vision failed. The somber saga of the Baiji commenced in the 1950s, when the construction of dams and urban development encroached upon their natural habitat, precipitating their decline. Their once pristine home became fragmented, and pollution tainted their waters. 
By 2002, the last known Baiji had disappeared, presumed extinct. Despite this tragedy, there remains a glimmer of hope as conservation endeavors strive to revive life in the Yangtze River. Number 1. The Dodo The Dodo, a bird standing at about 1 meter tall and weighing approximately 18 kilograms, was native to Mauritius. Unfortunately, when humans arrived on the island in the 1600s, these remarkable creatures fell victim to extinction. This loss serves as a stark reminder of humanity's detrimental impact on the environment. Fast forward 400 years, and scientists are contemplating the possibility of bringing the dodo back to life through advanced genetic techniques. A recent paper detailed the genomic structure of dinosaurs, an achievement made possible by studying the ancestors of birds which share the closest genomic similarities with these ancient creatures. While resurrecting dinosaurs remains a daunting task, scientists believe that reviving birds like the dodo might be more feasible, using methods reminiscent of Jurassic Park technology to undo some of the harm inflicted by humans. However, a critical question arises. Would these revived birds face the same fate as their ancestors? The dodo, with its small, withered wings comparable in size to chickens, was flightless and laid just one egg at a time. When settlers introduced pigs, rats, and cats to the island, the dodo's eggs became easy prey for these invasive species. Today, these threats still exist, raising doubts about the wisdom of resurrecting these birds if they would only face the same perilous conditions that led to their demise in the first place. Isn't it surprising that some of these remarkable species could potentially make a comeback? Let us know your take in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.